Hello everyone, my name is Leo and we are now 30,000. This is an incredible result for our community. So now that we have reached such an important goal, I think it is important to share what this channel is all about, why I actually started this channel, what I stand for. Let's start. The first reason why I started this channel is pretty obvious and is to share music. You know, the thing I like the most doing is making music, is to compose and record songs. And sharing my music with all of you is super rewarding. Sometimes uh, with some songs uh, I receive uh, a lot of messages of appreciation. For instance, the song uh, in the video comparison of the Tone Master Pro versus the Quad Cortex or the song in the review of the Boss ME90 have received a lot of appreciation. And reading your comments, knowing that, knowing that somebody in the world has enjoyed the music, that somebody felt an emotion, is so rewarding. You know, after the Tone Master Pro vs Quad Cortex video, I was reading the comments and I literally started crying. Some of your messages has uh, touched my heart. I love music composition and uh, all the process of recording and filming the songs. I feel this is a kind of my legacy. When you compose a piece of music, you are bringing to the world something that does not exist and that is gonna exist even when you are gone. That's why I put so much effort in composing and filming my music and that's why your messages of appreciation are super important for me and so rewarding. The second reason why I started the channel is that I would really like to improve the guitar community. It may seem uh, quite an arrogant purpose, but uh, let me explain with an example. When we did the latency tests, especially the ones dedicated to specific units, I think we found out some areas where the units tested could have been improved. Let's take, for instance, the quad cortex latency test or the one about the Ampero. Well, after our videos, and thanks also to your contributions, both Neural DSP and Hot Tone has released some firmware upgrades that were actually improving their units. Also, following some suggestions we did in our latency videos. This is very rewarding for all of us. And you know, making this video requires a lot of uh, passion, dedication and to be brutally honest. I mean, it would be really simple for me to always prize the units I review without talking about their weaknesses. weaknesses. Take for example the Tone Master Pro. While making my comparison videos I was noticing that both the JCM 800 and the Plexi simulations were quite weird. I mean, they were not sounding like the real tube amp counterparts, where actually Quad Cortex and Fractal were much closer to the real deal counterparts, to the real tube amps. And to be sure, I had to test many times as I was wondering if I was doing something wrong. Finally, the results were confirmed. I could have just skipped talking about the cons, just pricing the units for its pros. And of course, the unit has some pros, has a lot of pros. But this is not what I stand for. This is not what my channel is all about. And this is not the way our community and the guitar community can improve. Of course, Fender may badly react to my videos, but if they are clever, they may check out their simulation. They can take advantage of our videos and 
they can improve. This is the salt of life. We are prized when we make things right, but we can receive criticism when things can be improved. It's up to us to be honest and transparent and it is up to us to think about the criticism trying to improve. It would be much easier for me to prize all the builders blindly. Maybe I would receive more units to test, maybe I would be able to make more subscribers, but this is not what I stand for. I want to bring some contribution to the guitar community. Just like with my music, I would like to leave some legacy. Is it too hard to believe? You know, there is a lot of debate about YouTube channels. Some people think that we make videos just to make money and we say everything that the gear builders ask us to tell. Actually, I don't see the point here and I think there are a lot of channels that are trying to do what I do. For instance, a channel I appreciate is Sonic Drive Studio. John has made some great tests about the Tone Master Pro, basically also confirming my findings in terms of amp simulations. Of course, I'm not perfect, I'm not perfect at all, and I can make mistakes, like Gear Builder make a mistake. And of course, you can criticize my videos, and it's up to me to take this criticism and to try to improve. Your suggestions are super important for me. Actually, it's thanks to your suggestions that I've started doing comparison between modelers. And please notice that I'm investing much more money in my channel than the money I'm actually gaining, as fortunately, so far, the channel is not my primary source of income. I don't know how long I will be able to do it, but of course your feedback, your appreciation and, you know, thinking and hoping that I'm doing something in order to improve our community is a great reward for me. Lastly, I would like to talk about another aspect that is super important for me. Also, answering some criticism I have received about my English pronunciation. You know, the opinion about my English pronunciation is polarized. Someone likes it, someone hates it, someone does not care. And I have received some comments, especially from my Italian friends, and very few actually, that are asking me to make my videos in Italian. Of course, the videos would be much easier for me in Italian as it is my native language. But well, I want to be inclusive and not divisive. I would like to talk to the biggest amount of people possible. Of course, my English is not perfect. For sure, I have space for improvements and I totally understand that someone of you can be annoyed by my pronunciation. But you know, in the today world, Everybody is building walls and I would really like to build bridges. My little contribution is to try to be part of an inclusive community of people that share their passion for music, guitar and gear more in general. I know that there is space for improvements as regards my English pronunciation, but it would require time, time that I can spend creating more songs and music creation is where I want to put my energy. And the music is such a universal language, it is such an inclusive language that can reach everybody, that everybody can understand. So why should I use Italian just talking to the Italian community? I prefer to be not perfect, I prefer maybe to annoy someone, maybe to lose some subscriber, but I prefer to do my best to be inclusive and not divisive, trying to talk and get in contact with everybody I can. This is my little contribution. This is what I stand for. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.